What's going on, everybody? Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. The sell-off continues. It seems to be a rinse and repeat cycle. Blue chips get a little bit oversold at the beginning of the day. Right at market open, we get a little pop. Volume is stagnates, and then the shorts just come in and bury the entire market down. I don't think we are done selling off, not until the Federal Reserve can put a firm number on how many times they're gonna raise interest rates this year and whether or not it's actually gonna have a positive effect on inflation. So in this video, I wanna go over a couple key levels to look at. And then I also wanna talk about the AMC options chain as I see a lot of people all over the internet talking about it. So let's get right into it. First off, the initial jobless claims rose for the second straight week. They are saying that the Omicron variant could potentially be driving this. And also the Federal Reserve is in a blackout period ahead of its policy setting meeting next week. So keep that in mind. I expect the volume to still be slow and the sell-off to continue because of this. But let's take a look at where we are for the key levels. As you can see, we still have a few minutes before the market closes and you can see SPY just absolutely took a major dump right here. I had the key levels played out very nicely for our day plays. SPY broke above it, kind of came back to retested that the support was still held. And it was a nice play going through. We had this wedge intraday. You could see we were making the lower lows and lower highs until we got below the VWAP. Came trying to test it and then immediately just sold off. And that takes everything with it. But let's take a look at a little bit bigger of a view. We're going to zoom out here and I'm going to jump over and show you from some of our moving averages just to show you exactly where we stand. I know you cannot see this right now, so let me zoom in a little bit. But the MACD and the RSI are getting into oversold territory. The RSI even lower than where we were all the way back in September and October when we did have a little bit of that bullish divergence. We have completely broken through the 100-day moving average, all right? And today we went to retest it. And as you can see here, that did not hold. So looking at that 440 psychological level for the SPY and potentially getting down to the 200 moving average at the 439 level is not out of the question. When you zoom out just a little bit more and look at this from a weekly time frame you see that we are uh, seeing a big topping here at the 470 level. We came down, we tried to hold the 450, 452 level, and that did not happen. There is sitting all the way at 431 for the 50 week moving average. So keep that in mind. We do still have a little bit of downside to go. Just remember this, if you're invested inside good companies, I made a video a couple days ago talking about dollar cost averaging. It's the reason why 401ks are very successful is they continue to buy every single paycheck, all right? You're buying at the highs, you're buying at the lows, you're buying on the way down. It's why they are extremely successful. So keep that in mind going forward. Don't try to ride this out and say to yourselves, oh, in a week and two weeks, if it gets down to this point, I'm gonna get out, all right? Because we will get bounces that come through, all right? So this is just the short-term outlook. Like I said, the interest rates and inflation, all eyes are on that. But let's talk about the AMC options chain because I see a lot of people all over the internet talking about you know, these key levels You know, by Friday, the amount of in the money call options that could potentially need to be hedged for if exercised. Just remember this going forward. All right, I am still very bullish on AMC and would love all the good news and positive catalysts to come to fruition. But like I said, no dates. All right, no expectations because the only time any any dates or expectations came through were for June when we did have that gamma squeeze. Other than that, it has been a letdown so far. All right, we are going to get another pop that happens again, but just keep that in mind for when it comes to these dates. And I know the 21st obviously coincides with last year, okay, having some initial run-ups around that time frame as well. But just for a bigger picture, all right, to give everybody uh, my opinion on how I've seen stocks react when options chains become um, and market makers are not delta neutral and option chain become in the favor of call holders. All right. You got to think we have a day, pretty much just one full day until uh, um, expiration for some of these options. So as you can see, the open interest still on the $20 calls are pretty high, 21, 22, going all the way up till even you know, 30 and then obviously much deeper, but you got to think to yourselves, these options that are very close around this 19 and $20 
uh, you know, price point are most likely already hedged for given the time frame, especially because we've been bouncing off this area for so long. OK, this isn't something that is immediately going to happen once we hit twenty dollars and one cents where market makers go out. Think about that. They wouldn't be in business very long if they only hedge for their positions once an action was taken. That's a very reactive way all right, to run a business, which is what they're doing. They try to be proactive and evaluate so many different things all right, in order to make a very good decision on whether they feel they need to hedge their positions. But then also, if you look at this as well, if you are as well going over to Stocko Tracker, you can see the amount of puts that are in the money far exceed the amount of calls. OK, so this is another thing that they look at and until that imbalance would happen. OK, until a lot of these put options would become out of the money where you can see the 19 does still have 6000 open interest and 20 is a big one. It's not going to be enough to really swing, you know, that number down and increase the calls. Like I said, the price would have to rise quite significantly than just to get over that $20 price point. So $20 is a good psychological level. I was looking at 19 even closer, which it was nice to try to see that being held today until the entire market just took a pretty big side dump. And as you can see, we jump over looking at AMC. It followed it pretty well. I do have this um, <clears throat> line level on the $19 time frame, just seeing if it would actually hold today. But as you can see right around here, two o'clock, 2.30, Spy took a dump at about 2.15 and then everything just followed with it. So guys, that's it for this video. Continue to learn, continue to stay patient. All right, we still have all of our intraday levels inside the group if you are interested in trying to learn while the market still decides and shakes out some of those weak hands. Let's the bears eat a little bit, just for a little bit, all right, until the momentum swings back. So that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you in the next one.